Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. Ransom, you are all dressed up in your cowboy gear today. What are you doing? We're gonna go get baby sheep. We're gonna go and look at some baby sheep. That's right, but before we do that, we're making two trips. We're gonna take something to the sale. What are we gonna sell today? Do you know? Pigs? No. Look over there in that field. What are they? Not all of the cows, they won't all fit in the trailer, but we are going to sell some cattle today. So this video is sponsored by Sunday. Stick around, we'll tell you what Sunday's going to do, but we have a big day planned because, as Ransom said, we are going to go look at some sheep, and Cassie has all the details on these sheep. I don't have them, but she'll fill you in in a little bit. So you guys know that we have Highland cattle, and we also have Angus cattle, and long term, Today's the day I got to break the news to you. We're not going to be running two different herds the whole time. We're going to slowly transition out of our Angus cattle and into Highland cattle primarily. That doesn't mean long term that we're only going to have Highland. If we change our minds in a year or two and we want to switch back to Angus, they are all around us everywhere. So we're going to take our first load of Angus cattle off today. Some of our older cows, some of our cows that haven't um, calved, um, We'll just see what we get in the pen, but today's the day we're going to start making some changes, Ransom. Yeah. Um, why is Moo Moo in the, that pen? Oh, you see Moo Moo out there somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to show him, all right? So this is uh, not the normal time. This is kind of the middle of the day, so we're not used to bringing the cattle in at this time. So I'm going to put out some hay with the tractor and see if we can get the cattle up. Uh, so, we so if you haven't been following along on catching up with the walkers, you may have missed the other change that's already happened, and that is with Blackberry. I know a lot of you are worried about Blackberry, but you don't have to worry anymore because Blackberry is in with the Highland cattle. She is now part of the fold, and uh, she is doing great with them. She actually, I would say, is probably kind of the boss in there now because... Um, the other Highland cows don't really want to mess with her because, well, she's like six foot tall and they're like four foot tall. I mean, not really, but that would be a comparison. Hey, girl. All right. So I fed out the cows some hay, but they were all way on the other side of the pasture. So now they're up closer to the pen, and I got the magic thing to get them in, and that is the feed. So watch this one. Come on. Swoo. Come on, Woo. come on mamas, come on, Woo. well just like that they all rush to eat the feed and Geronimo's over there losing his mind, why is he losing his mind? Huh? All right, so now I got these girls. X is leery. She knows what's up. She's like, ah, oh, he got us. So we're going to take just a minute while I uh, start sorting these cattle off to take a look at Sunday. So you guys know we have to take care of pests out here with our animals. We have to use sprays uh, to keep the flies off, and we have to take care of any kind of pests that bother them. But what do we do for the pests that bother us in our house? How do we protect our house? And that's what I'm going to show you right now with Sunday. So spring has sprung here on Walker Farm. You can see the grass greening up. And I'm excited to share a product with you that is going to help us keep pests away from our home. And that is Sunday. So Sunday offers products for around the home. Outside in your yard to improve it or inside your home, including a total home protection. So what we got today is an application that can be applied to keep our home protected from pests coming in. They sent a box that has um, a couple of these. Uh, this is the Bug Doom Home Insect Barrier. Also comes with a battery powered um, spray nozzle operator. And we also have um, a smaller version right here uh, that comes with a hand sprayer. 
So to get started with Sunday, all you have to do is go online to the link in my description and take the quiz. Your pest solution starts with a few questions about your needs and your specific location. Once the box arrives, the simple shipment will contain a full year's worth of products. You can apply as needed. Step-by-step -step instructions will tell you what to apply and when. It's so easy. Each plan includes our Bug Doom Outdoor Barrier Spray and our Bug Doom Indoor Spot Treatment. Larger plans for folks with larger homes or longer pest seasons include product refills as well. Bug Doom targets over two dozen common house pests that include ants, bed bugs, beetles, cockroaches, spiders, and more. So I just finished putting a barrier around the entire house. So easy. Uh, Sunday smells good. I have never said that about a um, bug application before. So if you guys are interested, check out the link down in my description. And we have a special code for you to try. Walker15 will save you 15% off of your purchase with Sunday. So it's super easy. Go on the website, put in your information, get the plan that works for you, and it's that simple. All right, let's start with these two. Hey, hey, move along, move along. Hey, move along, move along. Move along, move along, move along, move along. These are actually two that I want to sell. Um, if you guys remember a while back, uh, this cow right here had a foot problem. She's doing good now. She recovered completely. And unfortunately, this is one of our oldest cows. Uh, she has been with us for a long time, but she's probably about 11 years old and just part of farming. Being a cattle farm, what you do is sell sell them when they get um, a little bit older. So, also the changes we're making. But she's a good girl. All right, girl, let's go on another pin. Go on, go on, go on. So there's. Oh. Come on, X. Go on, X. X, X go, 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 go. All right, Geronimo. Geronimo, what do, you think, what do you think you're going to do? You're not going to get in here and help me. I need Cassie for that. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on, girls. Go on into that pin there. Go on in. Go on, 25. Leave them in there, baby. Go on, 25. Go on. Hey! We can get X in there though. She's turning. All right, go, go ahead, push her. Hey! Ah. I ain't getting kicked today. <laughs> so we currently just have too many head to deal with. So I'm gonna do some cutting right here. Come on, 25. Let's go. I got tags. No tags, good to go. This is one. This is one. All right, come on through, girls. Go 95. You know what's going on, don't you? Is that cap a bull or heifer right there? That red one. It looks like a bull. Okay, go ahead and push him out. And the black one. They made a run from behind. All right, so we gotta put, we put X in this pen with these other two cows. Go on, baby. Go on, go on around. Go on around. Go. So I'm going to sell X and her heifer as a pair because we're not going to keep any heifers. We'll probably keep some steers back uh, to sell, to raise for beef, but we're not going to keep any heifers right now. Go on, mama. Go on. Go on. Go on. Shelby, move. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the calf out. So we got them all now. Just going to get 95. Oh, praise the Lord. We have the ones we needed. We got 112. We have our older mama cow. We have X. We have 95. And an X's calf. Oh, and so, that's our four cows and one calf. That's going to come, come on. Jojo, -Jo, back. Freedom. Come on, freedom. Come on. Come on. He's... All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn him out. Yeah. <laughs> 
I like working cows. You like working cows? Yep. Uh, some people always have to say, forgive me for what I said when I was working cows. Oh, I didn't like working cows as a kid. Do I have to say that to you, though? No, I like working cows with you. Okay. I try not, not to be too... Not many more farmers do I like working cows with. Well, it can get pretty hectic, though. I don't blame people because when a cow's trying to get by you and you've got to communicate really quickly, sometimes it's hard. But we got what we needed. So, what kind of sheep are we looking at? Am I telling them? Yeah, Ransom already told them in the very first line of the video. Baby doll sheep. I've been looking for at least three to four months. Oh, lost my stick. With not much luck, today's the day. So today's the day. We are having to take the trailer anyway to Tulsa um, for cattle. So while we're there, Cassie's going to go look at some potential couple sheep for the farm. Yep. All right. Let me get my bucket out of here before it gets busted up. Watch out, ladies. Watch out, baby. Hey, I have uh, plans for today. So could you not get busted in the nose? Even this one? Yeah. I want to try my best. Okay, no maybe prom I should do it and you stay out. No promises though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, my cowboy buddy Ransom right here. Are you going to help me back this trailer up? Will I stand right here? Yeah, that'll work. You want a video while I do it? Sure. All right, I'm going to give Ransom the camera. You just tell me when I need to come back, all right? See how this looks, Ransom. Oh my, that's pretty good. I think I can make that work. You think? Yeah. Maybe I put a little bit of pressure on it like that. There we go. I did it. Good job, Ransom. If they think you did a good job, what kind of emoji do you want? A cow emoji. A cow emoji for moving cows? Sounds perfect. So we already got a little problem here in the pen. With the cows pushed the gate apart from each other so there's some bolts in there they probably lifted up on it and it just came apart <laughs> but uh that won't stop us we'll get it back together and uh get them loaded up in just a minute So we got the cows loaded up. I don't know if you can see very well or not, but some of you may be wondering why are we making the change? What is the bottom line? And the bottom line is right over there. You can't keep two bulls on a place of our size without them constantly potentially fighting and um, going at it all the time and trying to get into the other herds. It's just so much better and easier to keep one bull for one herd and stick to that breed for now, that's what we're going to do. So Show them what every cowboy has to bring on a road trip. I brought this frozen yogurt. The frozen my, yogurt. And my iPad and a drink. A uh, Sunny D and an iPad. Well, that's what every cowboy needs, if you guys were wondering. And a good cow dog. you got to have a good cow dog. Then... So before we can drop off cattle, Cassie has an idea. What are you going to do? So we've got an abundance of eggs all of a sudden. So I wanted to bless somebody and 
give them away, but Gary didn't want people coming to our house. So imagine that while we're gone. We're going to put these on the. I'm going to put them on the arches of our church and put on our local Facebook page that if anyone needs or wants eggs, to come get them. All right. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully we don't make anybody mad because all the eggs. Hopefully are gone. it's not like Black Friday and people go fight over them. Yeah. All right, if we come to the cow sale, what do we got to do? Mazzy, is this your first time to go on the cat catwalk? Yeah. Also known as the cattle walk? Ransom. Why do you call it the catwalk? The catwalk? Because it's like when you... cats walk on it. It's kind of like you're a runway model. You're just walking through here modeling for the cows. No, it's a cattle walk. You go up here and you get to look at all the cows. Mazzy, do you see any you want to buy yet? No. No? We're in selling market today, aren't we? We're not buying. Oh, there's some pretty ones right there. Look right here. Oh, 144 is real pretty. Oh, there's the big bulls over there, Mazzy. See the bulls? Naturally friend, friendly. Lots of sheep. <laughs> oh, somebody took a good nap. Who was it? Right, Not me. Not Cassie. Asleep. He fell asleep on my arm. So are you excited, Cassie? They saw us getting the baby doll sheep. Are you excited? Yes. Um, we been have been searching for almost four months. And now you found them? Finally. All right. Well, if you guys can see uh, right there, that means the sun's going down. And we um, have to get goats. Uh, we have to get sheep settled. I'm going to go in the house and take a nap. Let me uh, yeah, that. that would be the typical Cassie response. Oh. So we're going to go get them settled. We'll probably have to catch up with them tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Yesterday was a crazy day that ended after dark because we had to get the lambs and the sheep set up. Yeah. So Cassie, this is her uh, new pet project. Is that right? Yes, and Ransom uh, is wanting sheep. So we have decided that he will, he has also decided, not just us, he will sell his pig so that we can have more room and more ability to do the sheep thing full time. So he's going to sell them and what money he makes off of them is his money. Yes. Because they're his pigs. Yes, any money he makes. So that's part of a working farm. You're raising animals up from babies to an age where they're big enough and we're going to sell them. That's what we're doing with them. But Cassie's new project, you saw yesterday we, we were... In the very middle of a neighborhood. <laughs> a so really nice neighborhood. That was um, close to Bigsby, Oklahoma. I don't know if you know where that's at. Lots of nice new homes in Bigsby, though. And this lady's, what, 15 or 20 acres? Yeah. Was settled right in the middle of a huge neighborhood. Like, you had to drive through the gated community to get to her. Like, she's literally inside of it, but she's not part of the... Neighborhood. No. Uh, so, like the housing addition. Yeah, her family owned that um, 40 years ago, I think, is when they bought it and have had it. So that was just a pretty cool side story. If you guys saw that, I personally really enjoyed the fact <laughs> that she's just hanging out with her homestead right in the middle. She's not selling out no matter how much they give us. <laughs> yeah, so that's awesome. So we're going to um, head out there. Cassie's got the same grain that the lady was feeding her yep. sheep. She offered us lots of advice and lots of tips. I've told you guys when hatching, if you ask other people who hatch, they'll tell you 25 different things than the other people you ask. So what is working for her? She's been doing this for seven years. Mm -hmm. She has figured out 
um, what is working for her and her lambs. So we're going to continue to do those things. We might do things different than someone on another video does, but we're learning from her and it's working for her. Yeah. So the pen you're about to see um, is basically for lambing purposes. Yep. So we want to keep them in a shelter for probably 10 to 14 days before we really move them out on grass and out in the open. So let's go check it out, see how they settled in. So we set up a pen uh, that's a little bit bigger but then we decided that we needed to close them off even more to make sure no predators or dogs got in here. So we have them in here in the dry, uh, out of the wind a little bit. So while we're out here, we can open this up and give them a little more room to run. But they are... Why, well, hello there, baby. What are you doing? So Cassie has a lamb, but we only started with two, but how many do we have now? Four. So you want to tell them their names to start off with? Well, this one's the only one I think with a name so far. This is Rascal. He's a little boy that's uh, several days old. And then this is his sister. And this is their mama. Her name is Dot. She has a black dot. Once she's sheared, you can see her black dot, she said. Yeah, so once she gets sheared, we'll be able to see it. But for right now, we just have to trust it's there. Yep, and Mazzy is thinking of a name for this little girl. She has not thought of a name yet, and I'm not going to rush her, but their face hair and their body feels differently. So these are South Down baby doll sheep. I've been looking for them for several months. Been super hard to find on several waiting lists, and then this lady just popped up on Craigslist, and it worked out perfect. So we came home with another um, you, yeah, and her name is Olive. We knew she was set to lamb at any moment, and she did this morning. And she, the white one, is a which it has some smoky legs. It's super cool. The white one is a girl, and the black one is a little ram. So Olive, uh, we, we thought that, and she thought too, that moving her might stress her a little bit, and she'd go into labor any time, because she was due to pop any time yeah, anyway. she was due any time. So you can see that Olive um, had her lambs this morning. Dot. <coughs> Dot. Look. Dot. Um, and we've got some alfalfa for them, so we're trying to keep the feeding regimen up that the lady already had. Yeah, I'm going to go get a uh, bell feeder that we can hang on the wall. Uh, they have quality hay all the time, which we're about to grab some from our bells. Uh, they ate what we gave them last night. Then they get alfalfa twice a day when they have their lambs, and they get fed twice a day. So, like I said, people do it all different. This is how she does it, and she's been successful, so we're keeping with it. All right, so there is the newest members of Walker Farm. Baby doll sheep, courtesy of Cassie. <laughs> so you can see these babies are already getting in there and getting milk. Uh, they are awesome moms. They've taken good care of them so far. We have uh, things for the babies, iodine for, the, for their umbilical cords. We already did that. And we're also going to be um, uh, putting bands on the boys so we don't have any rams. But... These girls are enjoying their... Uh, Zena's over here licking. She's like, I want to take care of them so bad. If you heard Zena, she's just concerned because she can't get to them. But right now, they're in a good place, and she don't, she don't need to do anything for them because we have plenty of fencing. So you know there's going to be more adventures to come on the farm with these baby doll sheep. Yep. So make sure and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you don't want to miss out um, on the future because the kids are in love. They were out here before school. About 7 a.m. The boys are the ones that found the twins. Yeah, they were out here at 7 a.m. in the cold and uh, checking on their sheep, and we have them down here <laughs> at, at our feet. So don't forget, um, if you're interested in Sunday for lawn care or for pests, um, the link is down in the description. You can use code WALKER15 to save 15%. Uh, great product, so go check them out. Cassie, what are you going to get us into next? Who knows, but... Uh, Somebody on uh, Facebook and Instagram is in the stories and stuff is where you'll see what's happening first, usually like real time. So someone commented on Facebook and said, are they full grown? Yes, these mamas are full grown. They're like uh, miniature sheep. They're like so, 24 to 30 inches tall. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications if you want to see these amazing cute things. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.